Well, hello and welcome back. And we are back down here at Ridley Cycles and we're gonna be talking more in depth about waterproof breathable jackets. In a recent video, we broke down waterproof breathable jacket construction, whether that's a three layer or a 2.5 layer jacket. We talked about things like face fabrics, the waterproof breathable membrane, as well as the inner backer or inner fabric. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a concept called wetting out and what can uh, you can do about that and why it's happening. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at a variety of different products behind us. So Ridley's has uh, graciously provided us with the Ranger 2.5 layer jacket to talk about. This is my own personal Ranger Fire jacket, but it can be ordered in through Ridley's here. We also have some nice seven mesh products behind us. I've also brought down my own Fox Ranger pants, which again can also be ordered in, and my own Arc'teryx jacket. So let's get into it. So as mentioned, this is my own personal Arc'teryx jacket. This is just what I wear in a day to day. And in this bottle, we just have some standard water. And if I spray the water on this jacket, you can see that it's immediately absorbing in and creating this dark coloration that we see on the front. And this is what's known as wetting out. So what is actually happening is, instead of the water beating up on the surface of the jacket, it's actually absorbing into that face fabric. When it absorbs into that face fabric, you inherently start to lose breathability because the water is saturating that fabric, that nylon, and air is not able to pass through it. So this is really bad from a performance perspective. In that previous video, when we talked about uh, waterproof breathable garments, I had made the statement that breathability is arguably the most important. And the reason for that is that if the jacket is wetted out like it is here, then you can start to develop condensation formation on the inside of the actual jacket, thus defeating the purpose of a waterproof breathable jacket in the first place. So what can we do to actually stop this from happening? Well, we can use a product like this or this one specifically. This is by a company called GearAid and it is called Revivex. And what this does is you first wash your jacket with their Pro Cleaner, and then you would spray this on the actual jacket. There's two kind of methods. You can basically just spray it and let it lay flat to dry for a couple of days, or if the garment allows, you can put it in a dryer because it has been suggested to me, um, not by this company, that the heat really helps this um, coating start to uh, embed and perform its best. Um, however, user beware, uh, or use at your own discretion, I should say. Nevertheless, um, this will help restore the ability for the uh, water to bead up on the surface of your waterproof breathable jacket. So if you've purchased a really nice seven mesh jacket or a Fox Ranger two and a half layer, you don't want what is happening here to happen. You want this to continue to beat up and perform as you're using the garment. What's neat is you're not limited to actually applying this coating to waterproof breathable jacket and pants. You can apply it to anything. Now, there is gonna be a full review coming of the Fox Ranger Fire Jacket, but one feature that you'll see subtly indicated on the Fox's website suggests that this actually has a membrane in it. And it is the exact same membrane that they're using in their waterproof breathable jackets the only difference is they're not seam taping this, so it can still leak around the shoulders and around the seams, but this actually has that waterproof breathable membrane on the inside of it. So what you can do is you can use this product on this jacket to try to prevent and resist water from absorbing into these seams in the first place, but you can even take it one step further. You can use it on other waterproof breathable garments like these Fox Ranger water gloves. And you can use it on garments that are not even intended to be waterproof breathable in the first place. So here we have a pair of Fox Ranger pants. These are just the standard pants. They're not the Ranger water pant. But what I've done is I've come in and I've added this Revivex coating to the face fabric of it. Now, any new garment is going to inherently have a little bit of chemical residue on it, which is going to cause the water to beat up and perform similarly to a DWR coating. 
However, as you wash and wear the garment and dirt gets um, you know, um, ingrained into the actual face fabric, then what you're going to see is the water is going to more readily absorb into the actual garment. So what you're best to do is wash this with the Pro Cleaner first to try to remove those residues and then immediately treat the garment with the DWR coating from the start so that you can um, avoid that from happening in the first place. So whether you are adding water repellency to an already waterproof breathable jacket like this 7 mesh or the Ranger behind me, you are adding a little bit of extra protection to a semi waterproof breathable product like this jacket here, or you are adding it to a product that was never meant to be waterproof breathable in the first place, take a look into the Revivex gear aid. I'll include links down below to everything that you can purchase. At this point, you might be wondering, okay, well, who is this for? So obviously, if you're going to be riding in wet conditions, you're gonna want some sort of waterproof breathable garment. But if you're gonna be riding in mixed conditions, then it's ideal that you could have a little bit of water repellency to non-waterproof garments to begin with. So if you're in mixed conditions, or you think that there might be a chance of you getting caught out there, but you don't want to commit to a full waterproof breathable jacket in the first place, then adding water repellency to existing garments can actually be the solution for you. So as always, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate the support. I most certainly appreciate everybody who's been commenting and subscribing. Uh, it really does mean a lot because this channel is still not monetized. If you do like what you've seen here, please consider sticking around because like I said, there's a full review of this jacket yet to come and many more great videos like this one. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And a sincere thanks to Ridley Cycles for allowing me to come back down here today, showcase some of the products that they have available ready right now on the floor and allow me to share this uh, knowledge and experience with you. So thank you very much. You take care and bye for now.